All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Data Driven Conference, and look who I with me, Ansh. Ansh, welcome to Dear the Robert Show. Yeah. I'm very yeah. well. Uh, so good to have you on the Robert Show. It's your debut, and I'm excited to chat about many things. I know you've been talking to a lot of people around, yeah. a lot of data professionals, uh, yeah. and uh, you also had a talk. Uh, but just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what do you do at Rilteo, and sure. uh, also about your talk. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Ansh Kanwar. I'm the Executive Vice President of Product Management and um, Engineering at Reltio. And what we talked about today is our strategy, our product strategy specifically. And what we share with uh, the participants at this conference is really what is our thinking that is you know, essentially the, the work that we've done to set our direction, the right. direction of our pro uh, product. And over the next 12 to 18 months, this will get realized as part of the product roadmap. Mm -hmm. But before the roadmap, there is a step to, to, to share our thinking and get feedback on that. Right. right. Um, so uh, we, got, uh, we, we got an opportunity to do that today. Um, and I got great amount of feedback. I'm very happy with that. That's awesome. Uh, I think you know that's the fun of in-person conferences as well, that's where right. you that's kind right. of get to meet the customers, the prospects, the other community leaders in the space, yep. and how the space is evolving. We kind of get to learn from each other. Uh, I'm kind of also curious because this is the topic of the town uh, sure. as well is around the AI adoption. Yep. How are you kind of looking at that piece when it comes to? Uh, you know, solving different problems for the customers out there. Yep. Uh, any thoughts around that? Of course, of course. That, that's the that's about half of my brain is dedicated to AI at this point. <laughs> um, uh, let's divide that up into two questions, two sub questions, right? Yes. So one is, how do we enable data that is sort of in this pristine, trusted state mm -hmm. within a system like Reltio? How do you allow that to? interface with models that are you know, doing amazing things, yeah. but they need this data, and they need the shortest path between this data and the, 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 the inference to mm -hmm. them, which is effectively, you can think of it as a way to enrich the data, right? So in, 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 uh, in the sense of the way we think about the world, that there's, let's say, take customer as an example. So there's a customer right. profile, right? And there's a lot of attributes to the customer. Maybe one of the attributes is lifetime value. Maybe another attribute is, propensity to buy a certain category of goods. Yep. Right? The outcome, at inference time, the outcome of running a model has to be filling in of this value. Very important. Right? Yeah. So we talk about AI as if it's an abstract thing, mm -hmm. but really, whether you're building these models using, you know, you're using large language models, you're using more sort of statistical models from you know, two years ago, <laughs> all of them, from a utility perspective, have to solve for that. Mm. So our goal is, we, we, are, we are not in the business of building models, we're not in the business of you know, uh, sort of analytics and allowing your data scientists to go build models, but we are definitely in the business of making sure that at inference time, in real time, these models can then interface with the data, and that data is available for being Very served. Very important, right? yeah. Um, we also announced, by the way, today, uh, Relative's data delivery network, which is making its debut here, Ravid. Um, and the idea, is Thank that, you for making that debut here, yeah. Right, and the idea is that over time, data unification, data unification is very important, right? But over time, what will also be very important is this idea of being able to, to serve that data in real time for applications, right? We talk about customer experience. What is customer experience at the end of it? It is your customer being able to consume through a mobile app, through a website, through a point of sale terminal, through a kiosk, mm. the, the, the information that is relevant to them at this, that moment of experience, right? And right now, there is such a time lag, and, and, and the half-life of data is not, that, is not that long, right? So there's such a lag between data being available in right. a system like right. Reltio and then actually being served up. It, it's just too many steps. So our goal is to cut that down to the point where this data can be like a utility. It can mm. be available where it needs to be consumed, geographically speaking, and then can be available for these applications in 50 milliseconds or less. Wow, I, I love that. Uh, since we're on this topic of applications as well, I'm kind of curious to know a little about, you know, we've seen AI applications, you know, just rising in the last, yep. say, three years, four yep. years, right? Yep. Uh, what are your thoughts about the traditional data management strategies, and how do you kind of 
work around with the AI applications with yeah. that. Yes, oh, so that is the second part of, of, of the question you asked before, yes. which is sort of AI in data management. So I sort of painted a picture of interfacing with AI models, right, and then serving up the data. Now the other side of it is how do we make the, the toil in data management, right. you know, 10 to zero as much as possible. And so, uh, we, we, we've done a lot of, like others, we've done a lot of experimentation using mm -hmm. AI, right? I think 2025 is the year to get serious and get commercial products out there that can actually benefit our customers. So we've, we've taken on a very specific goal mm -hmm. that we want to use agentic AI to create data stewardship agents and the goal of this agent has to be to lower the toil by an order of magnitude. Now, this is not an abstract concept, right? We can measure the productivity of a mm -hmm. data steward in terms of the number of matches they, they can resolve on a given day, right? That number is about 75. Mm. So we want them to be able to get to 750. Right. right, right. Which means that increasingly the decisions Very have important. to be made, they have to be suggested to the human. We think human in the loop is still very important, right? But how do you assist that human? How do you make it sort of an effortless job, mm -hmm. right? Where over time, that there's trust built up to perhaps automate someday. Yeah. But that is the step we're taking, and we think agentic AI in that sort of narrower scope is a very powerful thing that can be deployed. I think uh, those are fantastic insights. You mentioned about a very important point, which is about uh, having the human into the AI loop, yep. which is very important because uh, what we've been, like we both have heard about Zach talking about, you yep. know, obviously yep. Yep. Uh, how important it is when it comes to human uh, intervention when AI yep. is kind of, you know, happening. Yep. Yep. Uh, one quick question around, you know, also about uh, the recent announcements you mentioned about that yep. you all are making, uh, you all have made. Uh, what? How is it going to help the customers to get to the next level? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to share a little about that? Yeah, absolutely. So the think about the concept of master data management. Right? Mm -hmm. Where did it start? It started from the notion that if you have information about, let's say, a customer, you have their name, you have their email address, you have their phone, uh, you, or physical address, you have their uh, email address and their phone, you want that. You want to have as much confidence in that data as possible, right? That got named the golden record. Right? right. Now, that will evolve or has evolved already to what we call the trusted profile, which is you know, a much more sort of uh, dense concept. It's still a tree of attributes, but it's a much more dense concept. It will yes. encode, in the future, near future, it will encode things like uh, you know, unstructured data or summaries from documents or PDF files or, you know, th this is the world that generative AI makes, makes available to us, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and these profiles then become especially with the data delivery network concept that I talked about, they become the core of powering that customer experience, right? So if I could summarize our next 12 to 18 months, you know, we, 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 are, we, we will continue our investments in the MDM capability, and our intent is to be the best in the market mm. in, in that capability. In addition to that, that platform allows us to build on top of it these 360 capabilities along with these data delivery network type of capabilities that we think our customers, at the end of the day, we want them to, to, to be able to serve up this trusted data as quickly as possible at the point of consumption. Because consumption is everything, right? Otherwise, everything that we do is kind of irrelevant. Yeah. Right? So true, I think uh, that's well said and uh, thanks for sharing those insights. So yeah. one more quick question and fun question this time. Yeah, okay. uh, we are here at Data Driven Conference. What do you love, like two things that you like about Data Driven Conference? Oh, um, I absolutely love talking to customers because we, we are small enough, we are early enough as a conference that I get unvarnished views from our customers. Very cool. I, I, I get to the good, hear the good, bad, and the ugly. <laughs> and it's almost sort of, uh, you know, over the last few years, it's, it's sort of become a tradition where this is a connect point, right? So I really enjoy actually meeting with exactly. the humans of, of, yeah. of, of the space and, and, and learning from them, really. Very true. Um, the other piece is partners, right? Because we talk about customers um, and Data is a fairly complex ecosystem, and there are partners who really make us successful um, true. And, and deliver our capabilities as a solution to, to our customers, right? And so, not just getting feedback from them, but, but really talking to them about what, what they are looking at in the market and, and you know, how we can shape the future together. Those are my two absolute highs, and um, you know, I, I, I 
I would want this conference to be a little bit longer to be able to do more of that, but trying to fit all of that in, in one and a half days, that's a challenge. I love it. I yeah. love how you all kind of you know put it together. Obviously, yeah. I was talking to a lot of leaders out there, a lot sure. of uh, data professionals, AI professionals, and they are so uh, good in terms of you know the the various organizations they belong right. and and they come and they you know come together and you know yeah. obviously the knowledge that they share absolutely so this is amazing uh, one last question for our audience and that yeah. is about if they want to reach out to you and learn more about uh, the different things that you're doing follow absolutely. you which is the best place uh, send me an email anch.canwar at relto.com or call my cell phone 805-448-1890 <laughs> you can call me Awesome. So you all know where you can you reach out to Ansh, uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's on LinkedIn as well, so they can follow Absolutely. you there too. Of course. Uh, Ansh, uh, once again, uh, this was long due. I'm happy we could do this. Uh, thanks for sharing all the great insights. I think you all are doing amazing work in this bye space. Bye. Uh, so I'll keep following and definitely looking forward to our 2.0 session. It's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, everyone.